，外国人有多爱中国文化。If you follow that Chinese、uh, animality, like the year, like this is the year of the pig.、Mm-hmm. I once thought that I was born in the year of the dragon because、mm-hmm. it was 64, but then I found out that the Chinese New Year actually begins in February, so I was born in the year of the bunny.、Mm-hmm. And I had this incredible identity crisis that I was no longer a dragon; I was a bunny. After I had a dragon tattooed on my back, and I had a dragon. Wait a minute! Wait a minute!、Place. You thought you were born in the year of the dragon, so you have a a dragon tattooed on your I, back. I went for it. I was yeah, I'm going to embrace this because it was a really cool sign. To sure,、have. yeah. And then they. Said no, you're a bunny. So I, that was a very <laughs> that was a very sad period in my life. <laughs> I think ancient Chinese literature has some of the most beautiful, deep thinking of of human history. Really,、uh, the name Mid Journey actually、um, came from one of my favorite translations of an ancient Taoist text. But it came from Zhuangzi.、And、the reason why I love the word Mid Journey is I feel like it's It's easy to sometimes forget the past, and it's kind of easy to feel like that to feel kind of lost and uncertain about the future. But more than anything, I feel like we're actually mid-journey, and that we come from this rich and beautiful past, and ahead of us is this this wild and unimaginable, like unfathomable future. 快来订阅通识，按旁边小铃铛给我们点赞和分享哦。如果有什么想说的，也欢迎在下面多多留言呀。